Welcome to the Scottsdale Vibes Podcast. I'm your host, Alicia Haygood. The Open is starting on this week. The Super Bowl is coming up this week. Basically, there's no room, but we're going to find room for hundreds of thousands of new visitors. And I'm very excited to have David Folio. He is with the Scottsdale Fire Department. He's going to teach us all about how to be prepared for this week, taking extra precautions, and most importantly, be patient because it's going to take a while to do anything. But first, let's start with our favorite Scottsdale dentist, Dr. Rob DeVito of Arizona Center for Laser Dentistry. You have been super busy this month. I mean, it's January and I feel like it's the end of the year for you, how crazy you've been. Oh my Lord. It's It's been <laughs> nuts how it's been. And uh, my gosh, thank God that people are getting out and we're actually seeing more people. Yeah. And now with the Open, with the Super Bowl, with everything that's happening, what better time to come out to Scottsdale? It's great. I actually have a bunch of friends flying in this week. So I am sending my kids to Flagstaff with Grandma for nice. the weekend. And we are going to have an adults-only week. So I'm very excited about this. Oh, this will be perfect. I know. It will be. So, Dr. Rob, you were here the last time that Super Bowl in the Open went on. Yeah. I, this is my first experience with both of them together. What should I be prepared for? What are you most excited for? Be prepared to wait. <laughs> yeah, be prepared to wait. Uh, traffic, I, I mean, especially in our area, especially where my office is, yeah. uh, it's just going to take longer to do everything. So you have to be patient. Uh, and the number one thing that I would say is rideshare. Rideshare is a great thing. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of friendly drivers out there uh, from point A to point B. You know, you'll probably get charged a little extra because it's going to be a surge. But um, yeah, be patient. That's the main thing. I remember back when that open uh, and the Super Bowl happened that uh, we actually had people that would park in our little area of uh, our office? office and they would walk over to the open because wow. it was so crowded yeah. and it was easier to do that than to hop onto those buses that would cart you back and forth to the actual uh, property. So, Well, hopefully they've done a little bit more since then. That was what, seven, eight years ago? Yeah. Um, I know that like we go to Westworld and we park there and take the buses yeah. to the open. The most convenient. It is so fast. They are constantly having buses that One are there another. rotating. So that was my suggestion of doing that. And gee, I hope the weather's going to be good too oh because I, if you think about it historically there's always been one day where it kind of rains yeah, yeah monday tuesday wednesday thursday and i mean it never rains necessarily on the weekend but yeah we're we're going to have one of those chamber of commerce weeks and uh now we're going to have all of those people moving down here <laughs> Well, I want to talk about you. David is going to come on and he's going to talk about some of the things to keep us safe and the road closures and stuff like that. What are some things that you've experienced and how are you going to take cautions to get there safely? Oh, for sure. Rideshare, especially if you're going to enjoy yourself, yeah. uh, maybe have a beverage or two. And that's there, much cheaper, even with surcharges, than yeah. go, getting in trouble oh, with the law. <laughs> there's no reason to drink and drive. Yeah. Absolutely no reason. So that, that would be the number one thing. Patience, because those the freeways and the roads are just going to be packed regardless. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad that we're not going to have any road closures. There's yes. not going to be any construction. They're going to keep it open. Thank and you, I a, think, a dot. Heck, yeah. That, I mean, that's major if that you think huge. about it. Yeah. Um, and, and come to think of it, did you see the helicopter? Helicopter that's been flying over no, for the past couple of weeks. Oh, okay. So if you haven't seen it, it it's a regular hel helicopter, so to speak, but it has kind of like um, what looks like um, big duffel bags on the side of okay. the helicopter. Uh, almost Is it like black. Uh, it's a bluish okay, kind of gray one, um, and it does weird maneuvers through the air. I mean, you know, it dips down and it, it you know veers right and left. And apparently, this this particular helicopter is a radiation helicopter. Really? Yeah, and they bring it in for uh, I guess big events, specifically yeah. the Super Bowl, so that they can see what type of levels are around huh. specific areas uh, for possible possible threats. I'm not saying that right. you know we have one, but. Uh, come to think of it, why are we only doing this during Super Bowl? <laughs> Can't we do that, that would be my question, <laughs> right? I mean, uh, I know there's a big event going on, uh, like the Super Bowl, yeah. but why is it only the Super Bowl that this is happening? Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's crazy. I've seen it fly around this area. I, I've actually gone to a couple of Suns games downtown, and as I was driving down the 51, uh, you just see this weird helicopter that's flying around. Suns were going on, so it's busy down there. I wonder if they're like headed out because they're very possible. Yeah, huh, it's very possible. Yeah. So if you, you see really that are. helicopter, everybody, you know, no know what it's for. You really are like being watched and taken care of at all times. I look at it as being time. taken care of and keeping me safe. Yeah. I'm not oh, like absolutely. a big brother kind of scary person. There's tons of concerts going on. Yeah. I mean, dozens upon dozens, parties, um, events. What are you going to and looking most forward to? Fan Fest I'm going to. I'm also going to uh, the Music Fan Fest too. Oh, fine. Uh, for Super Bowl. Yeah. So if uh, you're there on Friday and Saturday, uh, come over, say hi, or try to find me yeah. at least. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? Try to find me. But yeah, the concerts are going to be great. Um, the Fan Fest, especially for the kids, will be yeah. awesome. I mean, th this is the time of year for Arizona. It's not the summer, obviously. Um, but January and February with Barrett Jackson just uh, wrapping up. And then we have the Phoenix Open and now the Super Bowl of, yeah. of all things the same weekend again. Uh, our time to shine. I mean, even the Arabian Horse Show is coming up. So th this, this area up in northern Scottsdale... My gosh, are we going to be packed and, and really showcase ourselves? You know, it was, I was at the Barrett Jackson car show and I had such a great time and met some amazing people. And I was interviewing um, Jim Owens, who is the Mustang Shelby brand manager for Ford. And it was record setting attendance on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which they've and those are, never no, had. Those are normal fan days. They're, yes. they're not even the big boy days. Exactly. Yeah. And so he was like, it was crazy. And to me, that set the precedent of what's coming up this week oh, yeah. and next week. I mean, the Arabian Horse Show is the biggest horse show in the world. That's right. They're going to bring more in. Craig Jackson told me that the airport is booked out through the end of February, wow. the Scottsdale Airport. So if you had plans on flying in here or having friends or family fly in, it's a fly drop and leave kind of wow. situation. So no parking, no parking, yep. your private jet. This Sorry, is guys. a loading zone only <laughs> over at exact, the private airport. That's exactly what it is. Think and about that. That's crazy to yeah. see. I mean, it's going to be lined up on the runway with, with jets and stuff like that. Dare I ask, yes. who is your Super Bowl team that you're going to cheer for this year? Oh, boy. Well, the one that I wanted is not in. We'll okay. just say that right away. So <laughs> um, if I had to go for somebody, I'd go for Kansas City. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of going for Kansas City, I'd go City for Kansas too. City. I you like know, th home. those Philly fans are fanatics for sure, but uh -huh. uh, I'm going with KC. Yeah. All right. I'm with you, too. Yeah. I hope it's just a a great game. I mean, honestly, back Agreed. back when we had uh, um, the Giants here, I mean, holy moly, was that just an awesome game? So that's all I want to. Yeah, let's 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 make this a good game for sure. Good week, good game. Staying safe. Are you staying open during this? week? Oh yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, we'll be open. Uh, and, and really, now we have a lot of our out out of town visitors oh, yeah. that are still in town, right? Because the weather is still better than where they are back east or, or really sense. up north. So we we are seeing patients. We are booked. Uh, you know, they're coming in for their normal routine cleanings for their teeth cleanings. They're coming in for their whitenings because they want to go back and have their oh, teeth yes. sparkly white. Uh, so we are still open. We are still taking patients and we'd love to see you. Well, go visit Dr. Rob DeVito and his team at Arizona Center for Laser Dentistry. I'm not even saying this. It is very much a family atmosphere when you walk in. My kids know their way. They walk yeah. themselves in like it's yeah. their house. They walk themselves back to the chair. Um, it's it's so calm and comfort, and I think that's what we love about you and everyone there. So go check out them. Everything is in the description of this episode where you can find Dr. Rob and his team. I will see you out there. I'm going to be a little bit of everywhere, too. Come so find me. You, yeah. you can find me with the big curly hair. That's how I'm found in a crowd. Look and a for good me. smile. And a great smile. Yeah. And I will be wearing comfortable shoes. Ladies, oh. number one, I yeah. want to mention that. Wear your comfy shoes. You can be cute and comfy, and that's a big deal for me. Here, and here. Um, in fact, David Folio was telling me that um, they go through more Band-Aids at the U.S. Open than any other time in the year, At the much. Phoenix Open, yeah. they go through more Band-Aids. <laughs> oh, my Lord, because really? Because of women in their shoes, well, yeah. Well, hey, at least you got that to look forward to. One other to. thing you should should look for if you're going to the 16th hole this year there will be no beer cans allowed on the 16th hole it is plastic cups only because they are tired of the divots in the grass <laughs> and the players are complaining about it so they how many cups do you think they ordered just for the 16th hole if you had to guess just for the 16th hole the 16th i'm i'm gonna go with three million Close, 250,000. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, and everyone else can have... 250,000? Yeah. Oh, I was way off. You were. It's a little bit. I think That's they might nice need a you. million, though. That's very nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he said the players are complaining about the divots and the greens when the when the fans throw their beer cans. It's the people's open. Come yep. on. Yep, and so 16th... Everyone else will have their aluminum cans, but 16th hole is cups only this year, they have learned. And some of the, you know, the top five golfers in the world are coming this year, too, so it'll be even more interesting. So there's going to be a lot of beer pong is what you're telling me. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what part of that I will be involved in, but surely some of it Red somewhere. solo Yeah, cup. exactly, exactly. Yeah. The green ones, hopefully, The green right? ones, oh, that'd be awesome. The greenest show yeah. on earth. Well, Dr. Rob, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I'll have David Folio with the Scottsdale Fire Department. Ciao. We all want that perfect smile. So who better to call for all your dental needs than Dr. Rob DeVito at Arizona Center for Laser Dentistry. Dr. DeVito and his staff offer the best dental experience. Whether it's time for your routine cleaning, one of a kind laser dental treatment, or teeth whitening, their same day service saves you time and money. 
And as a mom of two little ones, trust me, this is exactly what I need. Give Dr. DeVito a call at 480-990-1905. You can also find him on the web at drdevito.com. Are you like me and love a good fried chicken sandwich? Maybe a grilled chicken salad of some sort. How about those hot and fresh fries all washed down with some fresh squeezed tea or a milkshake? Are you hungry yet? Then you need to go check out Bird Call, located at the corner of Scottsdale and Shea, for everything delicious, fresh, all natural, and locally sourced. Bird Call started with the mission to make natural food more accessible. Not only are they feeding us all natural food, but 1% of their sales goes to support local schools, charities, and organizations here in Scottsdale. You can see all the delicious details by visiting eatbirdcall.com or just driving to their location on Scottsdale and Shea. Oh, and did I mention they're open on Sundays? Unlike some other chicken places, you can get your chicken fix seven days a week. Bird Call, your only choice when it comes to all natural and delicious chicken. Captain David Folio has been with the Scottsdale Fire Department for 32 years. He's a father of five, saved countless lives, put out fires, but I'd be willing to bet all of that doesn't add up to the chaos that he and his team are about to see when it comes to Scottsdale and the Valley this week. Pulling out the playbook from 2015, the last time the Waste Management Open and Super Bowl were here at the same time, is a good start, but times have changed and so have the safety measures. David joins me at the table to tell us how to prepare for a week of fun and hopefully not too much shenanigans. David, I know know this is a crazy week for you, so thank you for taking the time out. Absolutely. It is go time. It is officially here. You have been planning forever. We're so thankful for what you're doing. What has been going on leading up to this week? Yeah, so... I I've guess been... what hasn't been going on is a better <laughs> question. Well, Barrett-Jackson started uh, yep. Monday, so uh, it has been going on. So I think what a, a lot of people miss is uh, th- it's a year-long planning. So last year when we wrapped up uh, the WM Phoenix Open, literally we take a week off and then we all get to the table and we're like, hey, what can we do better next year? So okay. we get with the promoters, we get with Pro-Am, secu- all the security people that are involved, and we find out what we can do better. So it's a year-long planning. And you're right, we're well into what we're calling super season here in the city of Scottsdale. So a uh, lot of events. We've got the NFL sanctioned events that we're hosting. We have an NFL team actually that's staying uh, in town. So uh, so we've had to make adjustments, I know, with especially with SPD, because we still have a city to run, right? So Well, that's just it. I mean, yeah. the city doesn't stop needing no. help outside of these activities. No. So, so, so what, what we've, we've always said is, is I know PD talked, talked about recently, recently, they're bringing people in. They bring Maricopa sheriffs in. They bring people in like that to help them with some of these escorts. We don't give any resources out, but we bring some resources in. We we have help at the WM Phoenix Open, for instance, with hazmat teams. And then the men and women of the Scottsdale Fire Department are just working long extra hours. So we're lucky enough to be in the city of Scottsdale to be on the automatic aid system. Okay. So uh, part of the planning involves that. But yeah, uh, you're right. We've got uh, the Barrett-Jackson, like I said, has started. We've got the WM Phoenix Open. We get a week off, and then we transition a lot of our gear that we've placed at Barrett-Jackson, we bring it over to the Open. Okay. So, at least so, it's not that far of a drive between the yeah. two. Yeah. So, and then in the meantime, you know, we forgot to mention there's this little game in town over in Glendale called the Super Bowl. Oh, is so, that what's happening this yeah, week? Okay. So, okay. along with that, for the past year, uh, there's several of our command staff have been involved in uh, over 24 working groups, Super Bowl working groups, because it's all a collaborative effort, communication, sharing information, and coming up with a plan to keep the overall Arizona safe, right? So, so all the players are in there, FBI, DEA, uh, all the police departments, fire departments, we get in these meetings and we figure it out. So, and then we, that's where we have a chance to meet and greet and share resources and build those relationships. Well, let's talk about that because you're right. It's not just the Scottsdale Emergency Services here. It's really a national effort. So who kind of is in charge of security from like the top ladder down? How does that work? Yeah. So I know, so f- I'll talk about the PIO working okay. group, for instance, they brought uh, the FBI agent. What is the, the PIO group? The Public Information Officer okay. Group. Yeah. So that brings all the media in the area of all the P- pu- 
public information officers for all the public safety gotcha. are in this room. Well, uh, we have a guy from the FBI that ran the Super Bowl in L.A. last year. He's running ours this year. So okay. we'll set up the JIC, which is a Joint Information Communications Center. That way, if something happens that day or leading up to the Super Bowl, they can push out all the public service announcements. So he's running our JIC. So, for instance, you'll bring in those type of players to run these these sections of the working group. Okay. So, all yeah, right. That's how that's done. You have people coming. I know you have departments from all over the valley. I mean, you know, I interviewed Chief Tom Shannon last year. He was talking about how, in general, Scottsdale Fire Department works with agencies all over the valley to help one another. Are you having to bring in people from outside the valley, from North Arizona, South Arizona, you know, neighboring states or anything like that? Because it's so many extra people coming to the city right now. No. So so w- this isn't our first Super Bowl. Right. We, th- we have a – so we I kind of joke in our meetings. We we have a Super Bowl every single year. It's the call. <laughs> okay. It's called Barrett Jackson and the WM Phoenix okay. Open because – so when you think about it, you, you get 60,000 people into the stadium. It's all controlled. They're wanded. We okay. have 330 acres with 240,000 people a day at the WM Phoenix Open. So there's been a lot of uh, planning throughout the year. It's not, you know, we didn't start yesterday. So we kind of follow the plan that we did last year and okay. we add on to it. Hey, it got busy on Tuesday. Well, we're bringing more resources, another cart team, a bike team. Okay. So. So one of the things we – in the city of Scottsdale, we've got the ESPN zone down south. That's so, right. So along with all of this planning is, for instance, now put us back out at the WM Phoenix Open. We have all these teams. So it's a, it's a small city within a city, right? So yeah, I guess so. So we almost double our population. So literally we need to handle an incident within the incident. So we'll stage a engine out by hole 16, for instance, where you've got 18,000 people. Uh, you've got a, a, a restaurant out there, cooking oils, propane. Uh, so to be able to to have an incident out there and to hit a first alarm, for instance, somewhere in our city, one, it's going to take a while to get through the traffic that's around that area. So we have to be able to handle some of those stuff, some of those incidences within the incident. So okay. we strategically place equipment to be able to do that, along with our uh, bike teams who will access through the crowds to get to a medical emergency. We have golf carts that access through the crowds. And then we strategically, like out at the Greenskeeper, right in the middle of the open, we'll place a couple walking teams so they can take off walking um, because when time matters, when somebody has a heart attack, seconds are crucial. We want to get to you quickly. So so uh, everybody's on an iPad. We can see where all of our units are at and dispatch them quickly. And that's similar to our automatic aid system. So if we do have an incident within the incident that kind of we quickly realize we cannot handle, we'll strike the automatic aid system. So you'll have units from Glendale, Tempe, Chandler coming to assist us. And within that system, if our city gets busy during that week, they move units to backfill stations. So that's all done through our automatic aid system and through the partners that we have. About how many bodies for you and your department and and all the people here to safety, about how many people are coming in? So for our department alone, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, on a Monday, for instance, and I don't know the exact numbers, but we'll do three carts and then five bike teams and three walking teams. So they're, they're teams of two, teams of four. So anywhere from 75 to probably over 100 uh, in a given day as we get busier throughout the week and the week goes along. So another thing we have to that we're challenged with this year is the ESPN has set up a sports center right in the middle of Main Street. Like so literally it's right an in ESPN, the middle. <laughs> they're calling it ESPN Experience, yes. So so that's, right that's the planning through spur, the city. Right? Yeah, exactly, right in front of the Rusty Spur. Mm-hmm. So, so you do the golf tournament, right? And then starting Wednesday, they do the bird's nest out at the open. So everybody goes to these concert series where – so at 1030, because of the noise ordinance, they kill, they shut that concert down. Well, then people are looking for somewhere else to go. Well, guess right. where they go? They take off and they go right into our downtown district, which I don't blame them. The, the restaurants, the, the, the hotels – and the downtown nightlife district is amazing. Yeah, so absolutely. So people all want to go down there. So, But that's a challenge for us, right? Because now we're having to set up a division down there when we already have a lot of people at the at the WM Phoenix Open. Ah. So some of them we start breaking down and we transition some of those teams back into the downtown district to handle those calls that we have down there. What are your shift hours like? Do you take a nap? I, I get the end of the command. So another thing I'm forgetting to mention, too, is we work as a unified command post. So talking about the WM Phoenix Open uh, and even Barrett, we all sit in a command post right. where 
the egos are off the table. We all communicate. We all have a voice at the table. So you'll have Pro-Am, you'll have security, you'll have the promoters, you'll have uh, Scottsdale Fire, Scottsdale PD. We'll bring in people from the outside when these large events go on. And they're always amazed that we're actually sitting in the same room together because some organizations just don't get yeah, along with their yeah. fire and police. And that that's unfortunate because we have a great working relationship with the Scottsdale Police Department. We're hand in hand providing safety and and public safety to all of these events, and we all work together. So that's one of the advantages of that we do have is that you know we're all w- within that unified command system. I think it helps, like you said, you're all on the same page. You all have the same goal as to keep this city safe and stuff like that. I never even really thought about how much the WM Open really creates a city within a city. So you all have so many years of experience like bringing this in and stuff like that. Road closures, extra security, more metal detectors and all that. What can we expect when we go to these events? How can we prepare to make life easier for us to get in and for you all, of course? Yeah, so so the one thing we want to get out is be patient. Um, It's going to take some time, especially when we get into our busier hours and the traffic. So that's another department that we work with, right? We work with city city waste to handle the trash and then— WM Phoenix Open works to uh, to eliminate the frustration of getting into the event mm-hmm. by following the street signs. And it starts even, we you know, DOTs in a lot of our meetings because we want them to change those signs when you're coming down the freeway oh, yeah. to direct you in the right way so we don't get bottlenecked or, or backed up on the freeway when you start getting the collisions where people are running into each other. So it's like I said, it's a collaborative effort and just talking about the traffic alone changing those signs, getting people to come in. Um, I know the WM Phoenix Open and or Barrett's going on, you know, uh, right now. Just follow those signs. Everybody thinks that they can go to the VIP entrance and <laughs> and wave their way around. You can't. You They will turn you around, and then you're just stuck in more yeah. traffic because you delayed yourself. So we know what we're doing. We're, we've put the signs out. And another thing that's going to help us this year, too, is uh, – you know, even even Hole 16 and some of the signage around the WM Phoenix Open, they've added a lot of, of, of big billboards type of, you know, those really fancy ones where you can change the screen. There's like a thousand oh, yeah. different screens together. So we'll send out messaging that way to, to tell people, hey, something's going on here or avoid this area or be patient. Um, it's all about respecting the fan out there when you know, they talk about that at the Greenest yeah. Show on Grass. And, um, yeah, just uh, we're going to ask people to be patient. When you walk up to the actual WM Phoenix Open this year, you're going to see the entrance has changed. And we're creatures of habit, right? We want to go in the same place we've gone for 15 years. It's more of a grand experience this year because there's a structure being built right at the front entrance where it used to be. So I'm glad you brought this up because that is very different. They, yeah. That whole area is closed off. If you're looking at that structure on the left and, and the TPC is right in front of you, where is the new entryway? So it's right off to the right, just okay. south. So you'll see they, they have built this enormous ramp. And like I said, I think it's I personally think it's going to be more of a grand entrance where you get to walk down this large green path and, and it'll take take you underneath into the same entrance, okay. which has allowed the the facility to move that huge tent that was there and yep. put it in a different location within the venue. And they made that tent bigger. So so when you're talking about an exhibit tent, there's going to be a larger tent within the venue. Oh, okay. So, But even that, that's, that's a little bit of challenge for us just because people exiting. So we've had to come up with a plan of exiting. We've come up with that. So it's going to be a great year. We're going to have great weather. Uh, we're already seeing record crowds out at Barrett Jackson. Yep. Um, so uh, people are ready to get out and get and have some fun. You know, we had Craig Jackson on a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying, you know, the Scottsdale Airport is already was sold out before any of the events started, and that's just the people flying in. Imagine, you know, privately. Imagine who's coming in, you know, through Phoenix or who's driving in as well. Yeah. I know I am one of those families. We have a bunch of friends coming in town this week to enjoy all these festivities. But I'm so excited to showcase my city. You know, I'm so proud of who we are and, and how well we all work together. And it's just a great time. So I want to take a short break. When we come back, I want to talk to you about what you've experienced in the past with these and what you're looking forward to. So we'll take a short break. We've heard commercials for those other insurance agents. But when it comes to someone who knows Scottsdale in the insurance business, there's only one person you can trust with your stuff, and that's Jeremy Mueller of State Farm Insurance. Jeremy and his team of agents have been helping Scottsdale for over 20 years. From big purchases to rentals, there is nothing Jeremy can't cover at the best rate with the best service. Don't believe me? Then give him a call yourself at 480-515-5523 
or find them on the web at jeremymuller.com. I'm sitting here with Captain David Folio from the Scottsdale Fire Department. We're just talking about all the safety measures that we need to be prepared for. You've been with the department for 32 years. So what are you excited about seeing and what are some things that you're kind of concerned about, if any? Uh, I'm excited to see all the crowds, right? Yeah. So yeah, it started last year. We had a lot of people out at the WM Phoenix Open, uh, record crowds. Uh, for the most part, everybody behaves themselves. So, I mean, I'm always amazed. At the WM Phoenix Open, we set up an alternative care tent. It's a tent that where if you're intoxicated, you just need to go somewhere to rest or or you can come into this tent and we can uh, treat you. We can lay you on uh, a comfortable bed, uh, give you an IV. You can see a doctor and we'll put you in a share ride and get you out of there. Okay. So one of the things that allows us to do is not load up our hospitals with a bunch of people that have just overconsumed and just need to rest a little bit. So Good idea. Um, I'm always amazed uh, when 260,000 people leave the event that we've only had 17 people in that event. So you know, the the grand entrance at the WM Phoenix Open, the double decker that they've added on to 16, there's going to be large crowds. Uh, and then another thing, too, with the WM Phoenix Open is uh, they've added the elevated event, right? It's yeah. a designated event now. So $20 million more dollars. And then number one and number two, Rory's coming out. And then you've got number two who won the tournament last yep. year. He's here. So it's exciting times. And I think, you know, when you have those top 20 players that are going to be there, it's going to bring the crowds out to, you know, you're going to have the golf enth- the enthusiasts that wants to see the golf. And then you're going to obviously have the crowd that comes out and, and likes to party and uh, have a good time and, yeah. and uh, just see all the, all the people. I love that. I'm I'm with you. I am definitely more of a going to enjoy the views rather than the golf game. Yeah. But um, I thoroughly enjoy like seeing the golfers out there because it's a different kind of tournament than any other PGA tournament, and they have fun. Like yeah. you know, they come here for the party and fun just as much as they do to play golf. I feel like. Yeah, and with the Super Bowl in town, I mean, let's face it, uh, we've got over 220 miles of trails within our the McNall Sonoran Preserve. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're already seeing more people on our trail system. They like. Like you said, the airport's filling up. Yep. It'll be sold out. So in the mornings, you'll see people out hiking. We want to remind people, you know, if you're going to go out, even though it's cold, uh, hydrate before you go out. Oh, yes. And then uh, wear comfortable shoes at all of these okay. events. So that was going to be my next question. I, um, I'm i friends with a couple Scottsdale police officers. I know y'all are a tight community together. Yeah. And one of them was like, the amount of Band-Aids that we go through for women um, who wear heels. Yeah. We're begging you to please just wear comfortable shoes. Yeah. So last year, <laughs> uh, we did a PSA, and I actually brought my wife out because the Saturday before the, the WM Phoenix Open even starts, yeah. they do a concert with Maroon 5 right. this year, which is going to be huge. But last year, I tried to show a week before, don't wear your heels because it's such a long trek from the front entrance all the way to 16. People don't realize it's probably a half mile back there. So uh, you usually see them take them off within 10, 15 minutes of the walk, (laughs) and then they're just carrying them. So I don't get it, but I I got a little heat for that. So I just want to remind the ladies, you know, dress however you want to dress, but just wear comfortable shoes. Just be able to get around. We did a whole thing on our Instagram account here as well about appropriate shoes and not appropriate ones. Yeah. And yeah, you're going to be out there all day. Enjoy your time. Don't yeah, and be in We're vain. probably going to have to layer, right? Because it's going to be cold in the morning uh, and then it's going to warm up in the afternoon. So be able, be ready to layer your clothes to take some off and wrap them around or w- your waist, wherever you're going to put them. And then uh, just hydrate before you come out. You know, there's a lot of alcohol consumed. So we're asking people to, you know, in between a couple drinks, drink a bottle of water and just stay hydrated. And then, uh, you know, once again, apply the sunscreen, wear a hat. Yeah. I remember last year, I had more Midwesterners ask for my sunscreen than anything else that day yeah. <laughs> because they weren't prepared for it. So another another thing I'll bring up, too, circling back to the, the grand entrance yeah. because there's a building being built there. One of the things we've had to adjust this year is if you go north on Hayden to the left, there used to be a massive dirt lot where they would plow it and they would park cars. Yeah. Well, there's probably 4,000 apartments there now. They've built an entire community. So we are going to, they are going to be offering share rides. Westworld, you'll be able to go into Westworld, park there. They'll shuttle you over in a Highly bus. Highly recommended. That's what Highly I do every year. It is so convenient, so easy, and it's, yeah, I do you, it. And you, trust me, if you get anywhere within those pass areas and you don't have a pass, you're going to be so frustrated yeah. by the traffic that you get caught in, even though the traffic department does a great job. 
But uh, yeah, just follow the signs and follow the public parking if you don't have a pass and uh, go into those lots. They'll get you over quickly. The buses, are, they have hundreds of buses shuttling no, that, people. The buses tend to have priorities over them too. They'll move the buses they around do. to get in. Yeah. They do. And that's part of the, the process that we've communicated, right? They have their own lanes they travel yeah. in. So take so, the yeah, bus. Just take the bus. It's so much. It's I do it every year. I go to Westworld and I've never, ever gotten to the open any other way yes, than that. And then I highly, it's go. quick. We pass everyone in the line. Um, it's, it's fun. It's easy. What's harder, Captain, raising five kids or working on these events? Uh, the five kids. <laughs> it's a clo- It's close, but... You know, I do. I've got a 14 year old now. Okay. Um, the others are older. They've all, you know, they're married. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I have a grandbaby, Oakley. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, so now they're all, you know, they're self contained. They're all working. They're, they have, <laughs> I actually have a, a son on the fire department. He's uh, two years into the fire That's department awesome. now. So I guess with that, you have just less worries, right? Okay. They grow up, they become adults, they have their own jobs. But now I have, worries every day of just uh, responding to some an incident. And, uh, uh, it's all about prevention out there and people having a good time and, and, and meeting and greeting people. What is your favorite Scottsdale vibe? I would say probably the event season, yeah. just, just in general. general. Yeah, all the event, event season. season. Um, these are the, the two, three weeks that we all, you know, we prepare for all year. We're don't don't let us fool you. We're we're excited to go out and watch these events, yeah. be in these events, um, and then just provide that service that we provide. Uh, the men and women of the Scottsdale Fire Department are all professionals. Uh, we work long hours and uh, a lot of time and effort have, have gone into these events. So some of the other events that people don't even think about is we've already had the Fiesta Bowl, which we got people in yeah. town for that. Prada del Sol will somewhere in between there. Yep. Western week will blend in. And then right after that, we don't get a break because we go right into spring training. Yeah. So spring training fires up downtown. So it's a full <laughs> maybe two months of event season that we really look forward to. And then you take a vacation. Yeah, a little vacation. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love it. Well, listen, if you want to find out more about what Scottsdale Fire Department is going on, they just recently started their own podcast. Tell me more about this so we can keep up with you all. Yeah, it's called Firewatch, and uh, it's episode one. We went behind the scenes with uh, two of the powerhouses of the actual uh, or signature events that we have in the city of Scottsdale, Casey McDonald and Brady Castro. And uh, Brady puts together, I mean, the entire WM Phoenix Open. There's no other way to put it. He owns all the tents and everything. So Pro-Am wow. puts that together. And then Casey actually is the director of operations for Barrett Jackson. He puts that entire event together. So uh, it just came out today. And thanks for allowing me to plug it. Absolutely. Uh, where can we find it on any podcast listening app? Apple yep. Podcasts, Spotify? Yeah, Spotify. It went weekly, out on Amazon, bi-weekly. Apple, uh, Spotify. And we'll probably be doing one uh, every two to three weeks. Awesome. Well, yeah. keep us posted. I enjoy you coming out here. Thank you, most importantly, for keeping us safe. Thank and you. like Captain Folio said, please just be patient. You will get there. You will enjoy the fun. And you can hear it and see it. But just be patient and be be prepared to wait a little bit in order to have fun. So thank you so much. Stay safe. Enjoy your fun. Enjoy thank your you. time. And I hope you get to relax. Soon. Yeah, we'll see you guys out there. Be safe. Sounds good. When we come back, we'll have some calendar of events. With over 20 years of experience in real estate, Sean Shackleton of the Shackleton Group is ready for you. Sean is a well-respected full-time agent that is always at the forefront of both market trends and market technology. Most importantly, she is a realtor who will listen and always put your needs first. It's no wonder Sean is named as one of America's top 100 real estate agents. So whether you're buying or selling or need a good neighbor, call Sean of the Shackleton Group at 480-734-7277 or find them on the web at theshackletongroup.com. Well, as you heard from Captain David Foley of the Scottsdale Fire Department, please be safe, please be patient, but most importantly, go out there and have fun. Scottsdale, it is our time to shine. It is Waste Management Open. It's happening this week, Monday through Friday. General admission tickets start at $60 on Thursday and Sunday, $75 for Friday and Saturday, but it is free Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So take the family, take the kids, go see the Pro-Amp Tour. It's going to be a great time. You're guaranteed to see some great golf and have some fun. 
And besides the Open, of course, it is Arizona Super Bowl week. There are more activities happening than I think one person can attend, either with their family, friends, significant other, or whatever. From the Super Bowl experience at Phoenix Convention Center to the ESPN Zone at an old town in front of Rusty Spur, and of course, the endless amounts of parties, concerts, and I think there's a football game at the end of the week out in Glendale. Good luck to both teams. Be safe out there, Scottsdale. Go enjoy this week. It is what we are here to do. I'll see you around town.